In this video, I'll be showing you how to add a joystick to your Scratch game. So, let's get started. To get started, you can see that we're using a pre-created project. It's the zombie shooter that we've created before. If you want to learn how to make this game for yourself, you can check it out in the description. And to get started on working on this joystick, we'll be uploading two new sprites. And these sprites can be found in the description below. It's just a joystick and a handle. And we'll import these two sprites and we'll resize the both of them to 30. And we'll move the health bar to the top right and the joystick to the bottom left. Just to increase usability. And this joystick is mainly made for mobile devices because there is a mobile version of Scratch. So now we can go to the costume and we want to edit the joystick costume. We want to fill in a light gray color. Um, we'll turn the saturation completely white and then just a bit gray you can actually use a darker one might work better yeah that looks good after this we're going to now work on the code for the small handle and we'll go into code and I'm going to create a brand new block and this block is going to be called update and basically what this is going to do is create a brand new block from scratch and it's very important that you select run without screen refresh. This is extremely important. So whatever we put under this define update will take place in this update block. So we'll first go to control and define update with an if else statement. And we'll say if use an and operator and if mouse is down then that's how we're going to know if we're moving the joystick or not. And what we want to make sure is we have a few different variables. A move x variable, a move y variable, and an attack variable to know if we're attacking. So this attack is only um, if you're going along with the zombie shooter tutorial. If you're just making a joystick, then you can omit the attack part and if you are I'm just using if you're if you are just creating the joystick then instead of saying mouse down and just use mouse down alone so we're going to say mouse down and attacking and we'll make want to make sure that attacking is false we're not attacking currently in order to move the joystick and if this is true then we'll go to the position it is in currently. So we can just drag this. It should have the position your joystick handle is in. And after that, we can go to control and select a repeat until block. And we're going to repeat until either or of these things happen. Either we're touching the border of the joystick. So we'll select this right here or if the distance to mouse pointer is less than one, we'd also want to stop moving as well. So now we're going to say motion and we'll have it point towards the mouse pointer and have it move one step. And else, then we can just duplicate this and put the go to in this else. And then we'll go to the variable and we're going to set the move X and set move Y. And then what you'd want to do is go to the operators and select two division blocks. So division and division we will be dividing a value by five, bring in the minus block and go to motion and select the X position and y position and then you'll select the x value and y value of your block and that's all you're going to need 
now we're going to go to events and bring in a when flag is clicked and when I receive start game if you do not have this when I receive start game you may not be following this tutorial so you can omit this step but what we'll be doing is simply dragging in a forever block and update forever and if you're using this joystick for your own personal game you can put this under the when a flag is clicked if you're following the zombie shooter you'd want to put this here and these steps I'm going to do right now is only for the people following the zombie shooter game is you'd want to hide when flag is clicked show when I receive start game and go to this position and that's it now if you're just making your own joystick you can continue on now you'd want to go to your character that you're controlling and right now I have mouse controls so I'm just going to remove this and instead replace it so I'm going to just remove this and replace it with change X and change Y by X position or actually move X and move Y and then the direction that our character will be facing is point in direction and we'll go into the sensing and we'll select this backdrop of stage change it to the small handle block or small handle sprite and then make a direction and now if we test this game we'll click the flag and click new game and then simply go in full screen and move this around so you can see this is not working at all and this is because the attack we can see that was not working so for those of you who are just following the tutorial on their own game it should be working because there's no attack variable in this update block but now we need to set attack to false so now we're going to go into our joystick so what we'll start with is going to control actually events and selecting when I receive um, start game will show and when I receive the flag we hide the joystick this is because we have a main menu in our game and then we can select the forever loop and say if not touching um, if not touching a mouse pointer then we'll set attack to true and then we can duplicate this and say if touching mouse pointer then we set attack to false now if we test this in full screen we can see that we can move now the only other thing we'd want to change is going into our player so now we can go to the player and simply go to the operators and select and and then bring an equals operator into that and block and say attack equals to true and we would put this in the current weapon equals zero switch costume we put this into this we edit this and now we can full screen the game and move around and then attack in the direction we're looking at and that's all we need this is perfect we have a joystick in the game we can move around and attack the so that's all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope you learned something from this tutorial and and make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next video in the next video we'll be starting a brand new tutorial series where we have where it's a two-player tank game that you can play together with your friends so make sure to stay tuned for that and see you in the next video goodbye mm -hmm.